Hey there, I'm Jeremiah. I'm the man behind Man Bites Dog. Man Bites Dog is a concession trailer in South Austin. For the past year, we've been serving some crazy hot dogs. Now we're opening a restaurant, and I'm gonna lead you through that process. But first, let's take a look at the trailer. I'm gonna show you some of the dogs. If you wanna go. So this is the trailer. Let's take a look inside. This is for the Mad Cap. So I'm gonna show you a couple of our dogs. Uh, the first is the Buffalo Hottie. It's our award-winning hot dog for most non-traditional hot dog. It's 100% beef frank, and we top it with blue cheese and buffalo wing sauce, a little bit of green onions. It's very nice. It's like a chicken wing on a bun. Next, I'll show you the Green Dog. It's another one of our big sellers. Um, it's a lamb sausage, and we top it with tzatziki sauce, onions, tomatoes, clamato olives, and feta cheese. It's very nice. So the trailer's been great for us. We've done a lot of hot dogs out of here in the last year. And the whole reason behind the trailer was to get into the restaurant business for a small amount of money. But now that we've got some brand awareness, we've tested all our hot dogs out, we're ready to go into a restaurant. So for the past few months, I've been looking for a restaurant space that was perfect for us. And I finally found one. It's on Burnett Road in Austin, Texas. Let's go look at it. So this is 5222 Burnett Road, Austin, Texas. It's a second generation restaurant space, which just means there was a restaurant before. So what's good for us is that the electrical is already there, the mechanical, the HVAC system, the plumbing, and so we just have to come in and kind of give it a facelift. What's great about this spot is Burnett between 45th and 2222 is filled with Austin-based restaurants. We've got Torchy's Tacos, we've got Hat Creek Burgers, Bill's Ice House. There's nothing commercial down here, so it's a great place for us to kind of grow our, our brand. So this is going to be our front of the house. This is going to be the dining room. So you have to, you have to use your imagination here. But picture a, a banquet bench, like just a bench all the way down this wall. Tables and chairs. In the middle we'll have bar top tables, just higher tables with bar stools. Kind of go all the way down, kind of give that bar feel. We have big TVs on these walls. And some more tables and chairs over here. If you walk with me, I'll kind of show you how the flow will go. Right here, imagine a big counter like any other fast casual restaurant where you would order right here. You place the order, you'll be able to see the kitchen through a big pass-through window right there. So you'll see dogs coming out, coming out the window. Um, after you order, you'll come down here. Imagine a big fast machine right here for sodas, tea machines, uh, area for get your condiments and what you got stuff. Come back out, find the table, and then we'll bring your food out. So this big room is gonna be our kitchen. There's not much going on now. Uh, there used to be a big walk-in right here. But we're gonna, we're gonna put a little divider wall in here to make uh, our main grill line. So just picture fryers, picture a char roller, flat top, um, big grill over here, and a big stand-up refrigerator, a sandwich table where we put the toppings, and then we're gonna pass through window right here so the food can just be passed out to the front of the house and the servers will take it out. So, What's mainly going to have to happen here is we'll take the tile up, redo the floors, build a little bit of vinyl wall, then we'll have all our equipment set up, and then a big hood vent right here. So we have about two or three people maybe working back here at all times. One person working the grill, one person building the dogs, maybe one running the fryer, kind of depends on how busy we are. Back here we'll have big refrigerator, big freezer, big three compartment sink for washing dishes. Um, because we don't do plates and silverware, we don't have to have a dishwasher. We can just wash everything by hand because it's mostly disposable, which saves us some plumbing, saves us money, and all kinds of fun. Let's take a look in the office, which what used to be the office. So this used to be an office, but because we're a bigger restaurant than what was here before, more seating, we have to, we can't use the one unisex bathroom that was up front. We need to build two separate men's and women's bathrooms, which would be back here. And that's a lot of our build outs going towards bathrooms. There's lots of rules have to be followed, regulations. So we'll see those in the coming weeks. So that was our space. You gotta imagine now it's gonna be a restaurant in about eight to ten weeks. Soon people will be sitting everywhere, beer will be flowing, hot dogs will be flowing. It's gonna be awesome. Um, as far as timeline, so we just found our space, we just got our lease signed, now it's construction. Before this, it's been a search for the right spot. Um, 
find a good real estate broker, they would only help you find a spot, but help you figure out where your spot needs to be as far as what markets can be best for you, best for, best for your concept. Um, after we've got kind of closed in on the space, find a good designer um, slash architect. Um, they will help you. We, well, we use Jamie Chioko at Chioko Designs, and he's been amazing. He not only came up with the design, what the place would look like, he also handled the structural, uh, mechanical, electrical, plumbing drawings. Um, then we found a contractor. We're using Roger Dickerson at AMEP. He is handling all the work that's going to be done. It'll all flow, flow through him. He'll find subcontractors, the plumbers, the electric, electricians, and he'll handle all that work. And it'll flow through him and back to me for kind of over, overview, I guess. Um, and now that we have our spot and we're ready to start building, we have to submit permits. I suggest you get a permit expediter. Um, a permit expediter is just someone who's familiar with the permitting process and to help the flow a little bit. The biggest, biggest horror stories I hear about restaurants are people get held up in permits. So it's, it costs a little bit of money, but I think it's well worth it. Um, so now we're doing that. The next eight or nine weeks, we'll be building everything out. Um, so every week, we'll do a new video showing where we are, what we're doing, and what we're going to do next. And so it'll lead all the way up to opening the restaurant. So help you, hope you uh, check back next week. We'll have another video. It's going to get exciting.